by the man of God. We hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. The word search actually means to investigate. Then it says, they are they which testify of me. The scriptures are they which testify of me. That word testify again is to report. That means the scriptures report about Christ. The scriptures report about Christ. Now, when we say the scripture in this context, what do we mean? I have taught you over and over that the scriptures will refer to Genesis to Malachi. Because when Jesus was speaking to the Jews in John chapter 5, there was no book of John. There was no book of Acts. There was no book of Romans. There was no book of Galatians. There was no book of Corinthians, Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians. So when he said, you search the scriptures, he was making reference to Genesis to Malachi. And then he says, when you search Genesis to Malachi, they are the witnesses of me. It means Genesis to Malachi report of him. The intriguing part is this. You will not find Jesus mentioned in any verse from Genesis to Malachi. You will not find Jesus mentioned in any part from Genesis to Malachi. You will find many characters, but you will not find Jesus there. Yet the report of the entire book, Genesis to Malachi, is about one person. You will not find a place where he is mentioned. This one person is not mentioned in any verse. So Jesus said, that the Bible is centered around his person. Please don't miss that. That is, there is one singular character that Genesis to Malachi points to. There is one singular character that Genesis to Malachi points to. In Luke chapter 24 verse 25, on the way to Emmaus, Remember, this is after Jesus was raised from the dead and he meets two of his disciples. They were discussing on their way to Emmaus. And Jesus asked them, what things? <laughs> what things? And they said to Jesus, are you a stranger? Are you a stranger in town? Have you not heard about the things that have been happening the past three days? Are you a stranger? Jesus was humorous. What things? Are you a stranger? Are you not aware of the event? These are disciples of Jesus who have spent three and a half years with Jesus talking to Jesus and not knowing who Jesus was. What things? Are you a stranger? How can you be talking like that? Where have you been? Are you not aware of all that is going on? So with all that is going, you are not even aware. And Jesus said to them, O oh, fools, how can you be meeting a stranger for the first time and you call him fools? That's instructive. That should have made them to start thinking. A stranger cannot just show up and be calling you a fool. O oh, fools, slow of heart to believe. And I can imagine Jesus walking very gently, but his words are very dangerous. What can I say to them? Oh fools, slow of heart to believe. All, I'm sure he must have stopped. All that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And I'm sure they're all looking at him. And beginning at Moses. Oh glory to God. On the road to Emmaus, Jesus even asked them 
to believe all that means when you put everything together, it is a singular message. When you put everything together in Genesis to Malachi, it is a singular message. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? That is, they were arguing blindly. They were feeling bad. They were blaming the Jewish authority. And Jesus said, that means you lack understanding. Because if you read Genesis to Malachi very well, what is happening is not strange. What is happening is what Genesis to Malachi said will happen. The event is not strange. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things? And to enter into his glory. Then verse 27 and beginning at Moses and all the prophets. He expounded unto them in all the scriptures. The things concerning himself. And that is the Greek word daimenua. It means to go across. Daimenua. To go across. That means Jesus went through the scriptures. Through the scriptures. Genesis to Malachi and he saw that there was a singular message in all the books. Genesis to Malachi together are tied with a single message. Just one character. And you see if you observe the reason why the Pharisees and Sadducees were agents of error was because they didn't see this singular message. They didn't see this singular message that ties the entire scriptures together. They will use the scriptures for other things like commerce, like marriage, like romance from the book of Romans, like war, like war kill my enemies suffer not the witch to live touch me by mistake die by accident then they will read things like the take over theology how that the church will have to take over the seven mountains of society take over the presidency christian take over entertainment christian take over football Christian. Take over education. Christian. Take over the entertainment. Christian. The take over message which has never happened and will never happen. Because the society is not owned by Christians. Because God is not a Christian. So because when you don't understand that there's a singular message that ties the Bible, you are prone to error. The moment you don't understand that there's a singular message that ties the scriptures together, you are prone to error. There is no religion in the entire world that does not have reference to the Bible. There is no religion in the entire world that does not have reference to the Bible. Not one religion. So quoting scriptures is not the same as understanding the message. Quoting scriptures is not the same as understanding the message. Now let's get a, a little bit more definite here. What did Jesus say? Jesus said, ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? So he expounded to them the things about the Christ. So comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from. Thank you, Message Community.